Alright guys, in this video I want to show you how to create a pretty decent looking water material inside of Blender using the software renderer. Alright, so I've got a monkey, a cube, and a plane as you can see here in the scene. So this is um, where we're going to be doing our render. The first thing I want to do is actually delete this default lamp here. So I'm going to delete it. I'm going to go up to add lamp sun and it doesn't matter where you have the sun placed in your scene, it's still going to work. So now let's go into object data on the sun. Scroll down a little bit. Let's turn on sky and atmosphere. And for factor, I'm going to decrease that to about 0.5 just to lower the intensity or the brightness of the uh, scene there. Okay. So next thing that I'm going to do is select the plane, go into the materials tab. I'm going to change the specular highlight to a blend. I'm going to change the intensity of the specular highlight to about 0.2. I'm going to turn on mirror. Reflectivity, I'm going to set that to 1. going to make it completely reflective. Now gloss, I'm going to put that on about 0.75. Alright, I think that looks good. Now let's go into the textures tab. I'm going to go new. I'm actually going to create a bump map or a normal map for the plane here. So let's go down to map in here and let's increase the size of it to about 7 along X and Y. You could make Z7 if you wanted to, it's not going to change anything. Let's go to fuse, color is set to 1. I'm going to uncheck that so we do not have any color being outputted there. I just want to enable this as a normal map so I'm going to hit that little check button and change the normal to about 0.1. All right, and I think for the most part that's gonna be pretty much all we need to do to the shader. And I'm just gonna go into the world tab here and I'm gonna enable ambient occlusion. I'm gonna set it to about 0.3. This won't make a big difference, but it will make it look just a little bit nicer. All right, so I'm gonna go into my camera view by hitting 0 on the numpad and I'm going to hit F12 and there we go that's our water shader there's one more thing that you could do to make it look a little bit better and yeah, I'm going to go over this real quick so I've got my plane I'm going to select it I'm going to switch over into edit mode I'm going to subdivide about five times well maybe six times here. Okay, I'm gonna make it seven. Now you gotta be careful when you subdivide because it could really lag down your scene. So I'm gonna go under the material tab or no, I'm not gonna go under the material tab. I'm gonna go in under the object modifiers tab right there. I'm gonna go add modifier, displace. I'm gonna click on this checkered box. I'm gonna click on texture in the strength, I'm going to set it to 0.05. I'm going to go back into object mode, and what you'll see is it has displaced it just a little bit. Instead of 0 0.05, let's go 0 0.02. All right, I'm going to go smooth under shading while the plane selected. Now I'm going to render, and that makes it look just a little bit nicer. Alright, and that's our final render. So I hope you guys like how this looks, and I hope you liked the video. I hope I explained things well enough. And thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, comment, and thumbs up this video if you liked it. Thanks.